Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Alhamdulillah, we finished last episode with the first ayah, with the first verse from the same chapter, the chapter of Ash-Shams, the chapter of the sun, where Allah Almighty said after Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, وَالشَّمْسِ وَضُحَاهَا By the sun and its brightness. And we spoke about how amazing Allah Almighty and His creation is that He made this sun and He took oath by it. And this is just to one of the creation of Allah Almighty, just a small, by the way. Yes, we are seeing it. It's one of the biggest and one of the giants uh, sun that giving us all this light and heat and everything. And the scientists are saying if we are able to get one source of it only, one source or one gas that's coming out from it or one shine or whatever that's coming from it even you know one percent of it we do not need in this earth electric city for many years i don't know 100 years or maybe more or less can you imagine if this is the case of one shine one source you know of a sun and sun is nothing to be honest with you if you go or more up, 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 up with a camera, let's say, you know, if, if you're watching these documentaries where they shows you all the planets and all these galaxies, what is the size of the sun is nothing compared to the blue giant. If you just go and type blue giant, you will see the size of the blue giant compared to the, you know, sun, nothing. Sun become just like a small tiny ball and this blue giant, it's blue giant next to this, you know, in, in order to compare with the sun and the blue giant. And then there's another big giant planet and then another planet and then another. Then you will find something more bigger. And this, that blue giant that I just told you about, it's that small beside this, another name. I don't know even uh, what it calls. And you can see all these things, you know, it's a documentary, you can just go and search for it. So can you imagine that's going bigger and bigger and bigger than the sun is nothing. But yet Allah Almighty telling us and taking oath by the sun that we are, you know, wondering and we are wishing that we can get some benefit from the sun. And Alhamdulillah, we are benefiting from the sun, but the scientists are going more and more in it. And then Allah Almighty said in the next verse, Allah says, وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَلَاهَا and by the moon when it follows it. So Allah Almighty taking oath by the moon and then it follows it. What follows? The sun. Because obviously when the sun goes, the moon comes, right? So it follows it. And then Allah Almighty swearing and taking oath and He is saying, وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا جَلَّاهَا And by the day, when it displays it, you know, when the day is displays and the, the, the light of the day spread everywhere. So Allah Almighty taking oath by it. And after these oaths, something serious have to come. We will know what is it. Then Allah Almighty talks after the sun and moon and after the day, Allah Almighty talks about وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا and by the night when it covers it. So you know. So sometimes the day covers the whole, you know, places. And then the night comes and covers everything. And then the day comes and spread, you know, the daylight. And then the night comes. So Allah Almighty just telling us to reflect on these ayat, on these signs of Allah Almighty. Keep reflecting. Not only that. Allah is telling us more and more and more to ponder upon and we will ponder insha'Allah after a short break so stay with us. Dear viewers, welcome back. So, we stopped where we said Allah Almighty, He said وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا And by the night when it covers it. So 
as we give an example of day and night, one covers another, and then Allah Almighty wants us to ponder more and more. So Allah Almighty said what? وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا And by the skies and he who constructed it. Now again, we spoke about the, uh, the skies and we spoke about what is in the sky and we spoke about that there are seven skies one after another. And Allah Almighty says, Allah is taking the oath by the skies, وَمَا بَنَاهَا That the one who constructed and built it. And that's not easy. Again, I would love to remind myself and you that from one sky to another sky, Prophet peace be upon him told us that مَسِيرَةُ خَمْسْمِئَةِ عَام That it's a journey from one sky to another sky, the journey of 500 years. It could be 500 light years, it could be 500 something else years, we don't know, but 500 years literally. Can you imagine the distance between one and the another one? And then the another one, then the, the one on top of it. And it goes 500 plus 500 plus 500. So Allah Almighty telling us to reflect that by the one who built all this wide sky, and then after that Allah Almighty says, وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طَحَاهَا and by the earth and who spread it out. So Allah Almighty also telling us His Azama, His Majesty, that Allah Almighty not only created the sun and moon and day and night, and He created everything all obviously, but He's telling us to reflect that how Allah Almighty built this earth, this earth, وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طَحَاهَا And how he made it spread out. He spread it, completely spread it, so you can walk on it. You can travel on it. You can go and come easily without any problems. The animals can move around. And as simple as that, Allah just made it straight for you, a human being. So reflect on the verses and the signs of Allah Almighty. And then Allah Almighty saying something about ourselves. In the next ayah, Allah Almighty says, وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا means, and by the soul and the one who made it سَوَّاهَا means like, you know, he, uh, he, he completely put into that soul something which is equal to everything. سَوَّاهَا means like something that which is equal to everything, you know. You know what is that something which is equal in every person's soul? And nafs, nafs, you know that when you born, you have this nafs, you have the soul that Allah Almighty made you to start your life with. And this nafs, the soul, it has something equal. And what is that? This is the fitrah. We call it fitrah. Fitrah means that the clean nafs, the clean heart, that is attached with Allah Almighty. So by that, you are a Muslim. Yes, every one of us, we born with this clean soul, with a clean heart, with a clean nafs. And this is, we call it fitrah. Fitrah means something good, something by nature. That's this, what we have in our you know, heart and our soul. So we all, we all born as Muslims. Yes, we all we all born as Muslims. A person will say, how come we all, we all born in Muslim? I born in a Christian family. Another person will say, well, I born in a Jew family. The third one will say, no, I born in a Hindu family. So how come you're saying that we all born as Muslims? I'll just explain to you the word Islam. The one who is Muslim, he is following Islam. Make it more simple. We have a word drive. Drive. The one who is into this field, what we called him? Driver. So driver is doing the, the main word that we are used, drive, right? So we have the word Islam. Islam means, the Muslim word coming from the word Islam, and Islam means submission. Submission means that you are submitting your will to Allah Almighty, to His instructions and do's and don'ts. And by that, if you are doing, you are a Muslim. So Islam is a submission. The one who follow the Islam, who submit his will to Allah Almighty, we call him Muslim. So by that, everyone, all the born 
people, they are born babies, they are Muslims by nature because they are already submit to Allah Almighty. And to explain more about this, we will continue with the next episode with more, with more detail. So stay with us until the next episode. And then I should say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.